If you've looked at the other tutorials on DPP, you should have a good sense of most of the features and functions of the software. In this section, I'll simulate a typical workflow situation using some of the tools that we've highlighted already. Now, each person's workflow will be different, so if you don't like my methods, that's okay. Just use DPP the way it works best for you. When I've finished shooting, the first thing I like to do is to sort my images by shooting date and time. Then I make sure that I rotate them all to the proper orientation. The next thing I like to do is edit my images and decide which ones to keep and which ones to delete, and I like to use the Quick Check tool for this. I scroll through each image, checking to see if eyes are open and that I've focused properly, and images that I want to keep are assigned to check mark 1. Images that I plan to delete are assigned to check mark 3. And images that I'm not sure about, I might not show the client, but I want to keep them archived just in case, I'll give those a check too. When I'm done, I return to the main window. I'll choose Edit, select checkmark 3 images only, and then choose File, Delete. Next, I'll choose my favorite images by choosing Edit, select checkmark 1 images and then I'll go to the Edit Image window. Here, I make adjustments to one file until it's just the way I like it. I think I'd like to make these files black and white, so I'm going to change my picture style to monochrome. I have a green filter applied here. Let's see what it looks like without a filter. Let's try a red filter. Um, yeah, I think I like green. And I like it with the sepia tone. I'll add a touch more sharpness. Now I'm going to save these changes by going to Edit, Copy Recipe to Clipboard. I'll go back to the main window and say Edit, Paste Recipe to Selected Images. Next I'll choose the Trimming Tool. Since I know that this client wants 8x10 images, I'm going to choose a 4x5 ratio. I'll position the crop just where I like it. Then I'm going to copy, and I'm going to paste that crop to the other images. I can move the crop around within each image so that it's just right for each individual shot. When I'm done, I click OK. I'd also like to rename these images, so I'm going to choose Tools, Start Rename Tool. I'll type in the client's name, choose Shooting Date and Time, and I'll leave Sequence Number, and then click Execute. Now I'm ready to process these files. I've renamed them, so I'm going to have to select them again. I'll go to Edit, select Checkmark 1 Images Only, and then click Batch Process. Since I plan to do some retouching on these files later, I want to choose a file format that will give me lossless compression. I'm going to choose an 8-bit TIFF. I've found that my printer looks great at about 200 dpi, so I'll change this to 200. And of course I want to embed my ICC profile. I've already changed the file name, so I want to choose to process these with the current file name. Then I'll click Execute, and I'm done.